Okay, welcome to part two of my uh, video on amp glow processing. Um, <clears throat> I opened up a 20 second amp glow. This is what we did earlier. We captured three frames of 20 seconds, so it's stacked at three. So now we're going to turn this into an amp glow mask. And this is the way we do it. Sorry for my screen, it's a little small, so I'm going to have to go side to side, up and down. So I open the image, the 22nd Amp Glow Mask, and what we're going to do first is we're going to click Image, we're going to go to Mode, and we're going to convert this to a grayscale. We don't want any color at all in this image. Okay, so we converted it to a grayscale, and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this down to here and duplicate the... Uh, layer mask so we have a background copy just in case any mistakes are made we can just delete this copy and start over so I just made this to fit the screen so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, grab the clone tool and we're going to clone this all these hot and warm pixels out so we're going to right click and choose a diameter uh, let's use say about 30 should be fine around 30 give or take a pixel and we're going to hold the alt button and click this is um, by the way Photoshop CS3 uh, you can use Photoshop any Photoshop CS and uh, Photoshop Elements or Paint Shop Pro by Corel. So anyways, what I'm going to do is we want to clone get rid of all these pixels. So we're going to hold the Alt and go close to it. And I'm just going to click on here. And it's a little lagging because I'm using the home computer from outside. we're gonna try and get rid of these and we're gonna click as close as possible just so we can get the noise side by side to it and we don't have to click on every one but when we go to a different position quite far we should click on it and see we just created one there so we'll get rid of that Go up there and get rid of that one. And we're going to go right about here and put the outer edge, I guess, on there. Get rid of that. And get rid of the get as rid, rid of as many as we can because if we don't they'll end up being dark spots on our image dark specs when we're using the dark subtract mask so I'm just going to go right here and here okay and we'll go over here up here, hit and alt down a little bit away from the lines, now that's small and it's in the uh, the line there so what we should do is we should make it around 9 so we're gonna put it right beside and try to keep the pattern similar and we're gonna go right beside here And up here, you can see that dark line there, so we're going to just go right beside it. And here, we'll go about here, clone that out. This is more crucial for the exterminator because of the lines. If you're using a Melicam Extreme X2, you don't have to worry about the lines, they're not there. They're just the coatings, like I said before, that Sony puts on the sensor. 
microscopic coatings and you cannot see them with the naked eye but they are magnified so now if we go back to our copy and unclick that you can see the pixels and they're gone pixels and they're gone now we're not going to add any noise remover uh, you know um, I have neat neat uh, noise remover and it's good but we don't want to add any noise remover even though we want it smooth because it's going to change the pattern of these lines and we don't want that we want it identical so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, use levels now you can see this peak I was talking about earlier on video part one we had that gap and I said we're not going to use the um, black point on the histogram to lower it we're going to use levels so let's go up to levels and I have to scroll over hit image we'll go to adjustment levels and now you can see that peak what we want to do is I noticed before when we used uh, ample mass and applied them the whole field of view got affected darken and that's because this is light this area even though it's a dark it, it is still some light uh, is in that area we only want the area of the amp glow and here and here and the lines so we're going to take our black point here in the histogram and we're going to raise it up uh, just in front of the peak close to about there which is at 54 okay and we can hit the preview and we'll move this down here and hit the preview there's that line we want here now you can see we're taking out some of it here so let me just put in this at 52 and that's pretty good there yep so that's that's not too bad there so we're gonna say okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten uh, the two layers we're gonna merge them together we want these two layers to be flattened out so we're going to go to layer flatten and it is flattened now so what we can do now in the drop down we're going to save as and we're going to go to completed amp glow mass now open that and I want to save it as a uh, BMP and that was 20 seconds uh, AGC4 so we're going to just highlight that and we're going to change the 8 to a 4 so AGC4 and they're labeled as 640 by 480 and this was 20 seconds and it's a BMP and we're going to save it Windows 8-bit and now that's saved so we're going to close that and uh, we can open up another one and try another one so we'll go to open and if I go to BMPs you can see the ones that are all made now and that's the one we just did there okay so I'm gonna go back to TIFFs when we saved them as TIFFs before I believe that's what we saved them as yep and uh, we're gonna get the 30 second open that up <coughs> and what we can do first is um, copy so we just uh, left click the mouse drag it down to here and copy that's the easiest way to copy a background layer and what we're going to do is convert this to grayscale so we go to mode grayscale rather than RGB it's selected now we're going to go to grayscale okay don't flatten we don't want to flatten yet okay so if we uncheck that 
it is both of the copies are grayscaled out. Okay, so now we're going to go to view, fit on screen. Okay, and we're going to get the clone tool. We're on it now. And again, we'll go up to about, say, 30. All right. Hit your Alt button on your keyboard and start cloning them out. That's why I said it's better to have your cooler running on full. So you keep these to a minimum, the hot and warm, especially the warm pixels. Now this is taking a little bit longer because I'm using Webcam Max out in the observatory and I'm working through tight VNC on my home computer because Webcam Max does not want to record in there. There's something wrong with it, so I have to do it this way. So the mouse is lagging a little bit. So we'll clone all these out. Okay. And you could go large like this. Uh, usually I go at 30 because if you have two or three together you can clone them out at the same time. Oh, we don't want that. You don't want to clone it inside. Outside of the pixel. And go there. Just on the outside area. As I said, once you make these masks, you don't have to do it again unless you buy a new um, camera. If you buy a new camera, then you will have to. Now, the, once the pixels, hot and warm pixels, are in the amplo region or the lines, you have to decrease the clone tool. I like number nine. And we're going to go right beside it pretty well and hit uh, Alt and clone them out. See, we want to try and keep this line. There we go without changing it too much. If you find the clone tool doesn't work sometimes, uh, if it leaves dark spots, changes the pattern, you can use the uh, healing tool right here. But I find the clone tool works. Do not use the dust and scratch filter. Even though with one click of the button it will get rid of all the warm and hot pixels at once, you don't want to change the pattern, as I said, of the amp glow and the lines especially the lines. You might be able to use the uh, dusk and scratch filter if you have a Pro or an Extreme or X2, but anything to deal with these lines, you have to keep it perfect. So we'll go here. And you notice how I'm going close. Trying to keep the pattern the same. Okay. Okay, so if I show you again, turn that off. You can see the pixels showing up. And there they go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the level tool. Oh, the mouse is uh, lagging. Okay. And we're going to open levels. And again, we're going to drag that. That was 52, so we can pretty well almost use the same number. 52 should work okay. It's like our histogram when we were taking them, the histogram. As the exposures get longer, it doesn't really change too much. So if I uncheck that. You can see we get rid of all that glow here where we don't want to affect. That way we won't make changes. 
So I'm going to say OK. And we're going to flatten the image. So now it is flattened, and we're going to save it. And we're going to go BMP, and we'll pick that one since it's AGC4, and we'll just change the 20 to a 30. Save Windows 8-bit. Very good. So that's how we make Amp Glow Mask. And I'm going to conclude that uh, presentation. And we'll move on to part three, the video part three of how to use these Amp Glow Mask. Thank you very much. Bye for now.